I'm Emma Maloney, I'm a printmaker and I live in East Devon and I'm here at Double Elephant Print Workshop in Exeter where I've been working on this commission. This project came about um, through a commission from Sydney School of Art, looking at how Sydney School of Art have evolved alongside and through Sydney Coastal Community Hub to kind of look at the impact that Sydney School of Art have had within Sydney and explore the different individuals involved, the organisations, the clubs and instead of a written report um, they've asked me as a printmaker and an artist to create a visual piece of work that visually represents and charts and identifies the conversations I've been having with different creative organisations and individuals in Sydney. What I've chosen is initially just to start with a basic map of Sydney so we've got green spaces here, areas like the Nap and waterways and then I've looked at the venues so Sydney Sea Fest, the Walking Festival, jazz, literature, science, folk festival and where they take place. Key individuals who are part of those organisations or who have been commissioned by those organisations, where they operate in the town and also things like where they take their inspiration. So I've kind of done layers and layers of ideas and then that's naturally progressed into a screen print which is all about layers and I've used translucent ink so that we can see how the, the patterns overlap with each other. Like somewhere like the Dissenters Hall comes up a lot and I'll talk about their tiny little garden but it will have you know, been used in, in lots of ways by people, things recorded there, things planted there, um, people meeting there. I think what surprised me in the conversations with people was quite how much is happening in Sidmouth and I'm really aware of how much I'm missing on here and how much will be missed and the potential for even more. But I think that this is a good start for conversations. I think that this is an opportunity for lots of people to find and, and just have conversations about connectivity and links that they weren't expecting. To imagine this going hundreds of times bigger will actually change this artwork again in a way that I, I can't imagine yet. Once the map had been screen printed and was created into these pieces of artwork, it still needed to be translated onto a billboard. And that's where there were other decisions about what's included in the key, whether aspects of it are labelled, and how it's going to be useful as a map of information. I'm Sam Eyre, I'm a digital artist. I was invited to, to join the project by Louise Cole from Sydney School of Art to be involved in taking Emma's artwork, her original screen print, and turn that into a digital version. So that process involved essentially deconstructing the image and then rebuilding it, putting that together. So it, it's taking it apart and scanning it in and putting it into the, to the computer and then rebuilding it from there. And you can kind of start to push things digitally in, in lots of different ways. That's a really exciting prospect. What I enjoyed was seeing how the project had grown from the beginning where it was collaborative conversations to mapping and then it became Sam and I both working on it. It's been adapted, manipulated, changed. It's grown and become something quite different and I think it shows that this is a project that will grow, the content will grow and different artists and organisations and community groups will have input into it and that feels like it's the start of something quite special. Having a map of the cultural connections in Sidmouth is a really valuable thing for us at Sidmouth School of Art. I think Emma's project has been a really amazing starting point and I hope that other people will find it equally intriguing. Really this is just the starting point and this could really go on and develop and really expand across the community. Whether you're wanting to explore venues or individuals or how green spaces interact with organisations. It feels exciting that this will continue to be an ongoing collaborative project.